Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine, that's why I have this weird accent. You can buy cool After Effects templates from my portfolio and leave any comment with this word on that site. I'm super grateful for any support. And I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Link is in description. And now we will make this effect. Let's get started! For this effect you need to have TrapCut Particular. So let's import our footage. Go to File, Import, File. And drag it on this icon here. It will create new composition. You need to shoot your video with character in the scene and without it. So we will have this clean plate. I'm going to duplicate our layer. Go to Edit, Duplicate. Select layer below and right mouse click on it and go to Time, Freeze Frame. Then you need to cut your layer in the moment where you want your character to disappear. Click here and drag it over here. And let's also duplicate it. Go to Edit, Duplicate. Right mouse click on layer, go to Time, Freeze Frame. Ok, now let's cut out our character. I will speed up the process and it doesn't have to be perfect. Great, now we have our character. Let's pre-compose it. Go to Layer. Precompose. I'm gonna call it texture. And now we can shut this layer off. Okay, now let's uh, create some particles. Go to layer, new, solid. Call it main particles. Now go to effect, trapcut, particular. You need to have trapcut particular plugin for this effect. Now let's make some changes. Let's cut this layer. Here at particles per second, let's set it to 20,000 and create keyframe. Now press U on keyboard so we can see our keyframes. Then move it over and set it to zero. Now let's change our emitter type to layer and here set it to zero, zero, all to zero. Now we need to convert our texture to a 3D layer. Click here, then go to layer emitter and change it to texture. Now we have some particles. Let's change our particle look. I'll change it to square, size to 2, size random to 55, and blend mode let's set it to add. Now it looks much better. Let's also change size over life to this preset. Excellent. Now let's animate our particles. Go to physics, air, turbulence field. Let's change our scale to about 9 and evolution speed let's change it to 5. Now I'm going to animate. Click on this stopwatch to create keyframe. Then press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. Drag it over and press F9 on keyboard. And about here let's change it to 8400. Let's go to graph editor and drag it by this handle, like this. Now we have this cool animation. Now let's duplicate this layer to make some bigger particles. Select this layer and go to Edit, Duplicate. Select this layer and press Return on keyboard and type in bigger particles. Press U on keyboard, go to this first keyframe and let's change it to 5000. Then let's change size to about 5 and here at Turbulence field let's change Evolution Offset to about 80. As you can see it creates a new kind of explosion. Now let's close it here and add some blur. Go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and Fast Blur. I'll set it to 14. Then go to Effect, Color Correction Curves. And in Alpha Channel make this shape. As you can see we made some bigger particles. Let's also change Blending Mode. Click on this toggle switch here and go to Overlay. Now we have more complexity to our disintegration. Now let's make some sparks. Select our main particles, go to Edit, Duplicate. Then let's precompose it. Go to Layer, Precompose, and call them sparks. Open this composition, and we need to set Layer Emitter to Texture again. Just set it to None and then to Texture. Now we have our particles back. Let's also change our layer RGB usage to Lightness Size and also change it to Sphere. 
and explosion let's make a little bit more violent like this so sparks will fly closer to the camera let's also create new solid go to layer new solid let's make it black click ok ok it will help with color correction go to our main composition select our sparks layer and let's type here cc force motion blur select it and drag it over our sparks layer i'll change it to 37 and shutter angle let's change it to 500 now we have this cool motion blur to see it better let's also add some curves go to effect color correction curves and drag way up here now we can see our sparks go to effect color correction curves in rgb channel let's make this s shape in red channel let's make this shape then go to green channel here also s shape like this and in blue channel let's make this shape let's also add some glow type in glow and drag it over here glow threshold let's set it to 100 radius to 50 and glow intensity to 3 excellent let's also go to sparks and select our particular layer and let's change our explosion go to air and turbulence field let's play with this value here in evolution offset i think it looks cool let's see the result now we have these cool sparks let's shut this layer off because it will take a lot of your computer power and we will enable it just before render now let's create some light go to layer new solid call it light okay then go to effect generate lens layer then select our sparks layer and copy these curves here go to edit copy then select our light layer and go to edit paste then go to effect blur and sharpen fast blur i'm going to animate some values click on this stopwatch to create keyframe also here and click on this checkbox here then press u on keyboard let's change blending mode to add move our center over here and let's set our fast blur to 300 flare brightness to 0 and here set it to 166 and blur to 1000 let's cut this layer like this and set these keyframes like this press T on keyboard click on this stopwatch here and later let's set it to 0 also press U on keyboard and let's see our animation excellent now it looks great i also recommend to drag this layer a little below to see our character being disintegrated now let's make color correction overall go to layer new adjustment layer then effect color correction curves in rgb channel let's make it a little brighter red channel i'll drag a little bit like this and in blue channel make curve like this drag it to the top and now we can enable our sparks layer set it also to add and now let's see what we got you can easily tweak your values by pressing u on keyboard and for example we can make this explosion a little smaller as you can see you can easily tweak these values to get look which you like if you are interested to support this channel you can check out my portfolio on videohive.net link will be in description here i have a bunch of cool templates for after effects they all have video tutorials which explains how to use them basically if you have a logo and want to have cool animation for it like this or like this You can check my work and find for yourself cool looking animation. Also, I have templates for dynamic slideshows and promos. So if you have lots of videos and photos, you can just add your footage and get an awesome made video for you. Let's go! I hope
hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.